Hi guys and welcome back to part 6 of my camper trailer makeover project where I picked up this 1976 camper trailer rotting in someone's backyard and set out to turn it into something I could use for years to come. In the last episode you saw me install the folding bed and bench, curtains, a microwave and TV, as well as countertops and storage. Now before we get started, I'd like to thank my friends at Coast Hire and Auto Center for sponsoring this video. I've been dealing with Coast Hire for years and I've received nothing but the best service and great prices on tires, repairs and maintenance. With locations throughout the Maritimes, you're bound to find one near you. For more information, visit their website at www.coasthire.com. And now back to our project. The first thing I'm doing is installing one of the small vents on the back door for the air conditioner. And now I'm going to temporarily seal up the remaining outside corner. We're just going to be finishing up on the small things that we need just to get the uh, camper going. Um, one of those was doing this corner panel. And you can see in the back window here, or that back door, I put that little vent for the AC. So I'll show you that in a minute as well. Um, next, what I'm working on today is going to be wiring and then lights. So we're just going to head underneath the camper in the front there and I'll show you what kind of mess I have to deal with up front here. I have to change the adapter up front, but the wiring is a real mess. So I'm just going to crawl under there and see if I can get the uh, camera set up. I've got a bunch of goodies here to try to fix that up. Okay, so you can see here the mess that I've got going on. Alright, so let me see if I can set up the camera and we'll get this stuff fixed up. With that done, let's put on some new tail lights. And now a quick test. Now let's focus on getting those clearance lights working. Okay, so that put up a lot more of a fight than I expected, but I finally got them all working. Most of them I had to sand down all the contacts, I'd add a few grounds for some of them. Others, like this one, had uh, connectors that were broken off for the whole light, so I actually just put some 5-minute epoxy and stuck that back together, so hopefully that holds for a while. But I'm quite happy with that. They were, uh, they're all on. It's looking like it's alive again. I also plugged in the AC line earlier and tested that out. Got the AC working and the, uh, the fridge, microwave and everything. So that all works. Hey guys, so I'm out on the hunt for a toilet. I mentioned before and there's this guy, Leonard, down here by my place. A little ways out in the woods. Really nice guy, I just met him today. And he has this property with all of these campers like for the next I don't know one kilometer going that way there's campers everywhere in the woods and they're buried right now but in the winter you can see them better and uh, we had a walk went through and we found one camper with uh, a toilet that is in good condition that's usable and he offered me a very good price so uh, I have to take it out myself so we were in we ended up talking so long we looked at so much stuff that he has here and I actually picked up a few things um, some used stuff that I thought was pretty cool um, and uh, now it's getting dark and I really have to get in here and get that uh, 
spoil it out before uh, I'm crawling around in the dark. Mosquitoes are coming out, so I gotta move my ass. Um, it doesn't look as dark on the phone from what I'm seeing, but um, the sun is setting and uh, it's gonna be spooky out here pretty quick. So I'm just gonna head out in the woods here. As you can see, there's campers everywhere here. going for quite a while. It's really tricky here. So, hitch over that. All right. Now, as you can see, there's another camper here. And let's go around the corner here. There's another one there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight, and there's just in this area. And there's more around the corner. tree. This is the one good Sam Club uh, camper is the one that we're going to get that toilet out of. So I'm going to, this is broken so I gotta figure out how he opened that earlier. And we're gonna get in there so I'm gonna swat the mosquitoes away and head inside. All right so we're in the uh, camper graveyard and we're in this old camper and it's just getting dark because I was chatting with the guy for a while and we're here in the back room and there's the toilet you can barely see it but I'm gonna try to get it out before it gets dark and I get stuck in here it's a little scary so I'm gonna work on that right now okay so we got our toilet ah, let's get out of this jungle so you can see there's campers everywhere in here it's a pretty thick bush All right, so there's an old Airstream there that's caving in. Tent trailer, this guy's a sweet little machine. And he actually has that for sale for $300 if anyone in Moncton, New Brunswick is looking for one. It's in pretty good shape. A couple more here. All right. So, got our toilet. Sweet, it's in good shape. All right. And we're out before dark. Great. Down there. Got all kinds of other goodies from Leonard here. Let's get out of here. Oh, I've got our toilet all cleaned up. Looking a lot better. So let's go get that thing installed. Okay, so I've got that toilet installed. I have to pick up some little uh, clamps to attach the hose along the wall there. I decided to run it on top. I know we can see it, but this way here, I'm sure that the hose will be drained rather than running it underneath. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna have to take a, any walls apart. Um, the camper that I took it out of had a similar setup with the hose showing. So I'm fine with that. Next, I'm gonna start doing a couple little uh, just minor touch-ups because all the major stuff is done. Um, I noticed when I was running the water here that some of it splashed up on the wall so I'm gonna do a bit of a backsplash here and it, I'm just gonna use uh, these little cheap stickers that you can get at Dollarama so I'm going to uh, stick those on, cut them up, try to make something work here. I've got this little seam divider here but I'm not sure how I'm going to work around. Maybe just butt it up against here and continue it there and leave it uh, in the center. So we'll see what I can do here. Well, I think that turned out pretty good. And it's actually one giant sticker for each sheet and they overlap. So it's actually gonna do a pretty good job of stopping water from actually hitting that wall. So I think that was pretty good for probably $9, $10. I mentioned before that I installed these cheap push lights to give us some light um, because I hadn't decided what I was gonna do for AC lighting and I didn't want to tear the walls open and uh, add more wiring. So 
uh, I was playing with this other idea of installing these Christmas lights. I thought that would be a fun, uh, fun way to get some light in here and maybe add some atmosphere. So I've got a couple of extra strings left over from Christmas. So I'm going to hang those and we'll see what they look like. So I've got those up, and I really like how that looks. That's lots of fun. It's going to look better when it's dark as well. Not bad for just stuff that was hanging around. Have a seat on the bench here. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cozy. Should throw some TV on. So I was thinking around in one of our spare closets, and I found this nightstand that we were using in one of our bedrooms that we're no longer using so it's now going to be the camper dresser so to keep that from moving around I've got a couple of little L brackets so I'm going to screw one on either side to the floor and then attach the uh, dresser to it was a little weird. You probably saw me struggling as I screwed the back of the um, little dresser to the wall. And the reason why is as I screwed it in, I was separating some wood in the back and a coin fell out. The first coin that fell out was this little Chinese coin. So it's a Chinese, I'm thinking one yen or yuan or whatever it's called. Um, so I thought, oh geez, maybe this is from when it was built. But then $6.43 Canadian fell out, so I'm guessing that's just something that my girlfriend had in there and somehow fell, I don't know, in the wood, in the actual um, nightstand itself. Um, I managed to get it all out, so that was an interesting find. So, Jen, if you're watching this video, I'm keeping this for coffee. Well, the sun's gone down, and I'm wrapping up today. Got all the lights on, nice and dark. But uh, I think this is great lighting in here. It feels nice and warm and cozy. I found this lamp upstairs too, so if we need a little extra light, we've got that guy there. We're not using it and it may not match anything, but it's, it's a lamp. Folded up the table and geez, look at the room for activities in here. I'm not a dancer, but I was. I think we could do some dancing in here. I'm really happy with how this looks. The lamp off again. Can't see the lights behind the uh, bed, but there's a nice glow from the ceiling. I really like this. I really like that backsplash for a whole $10. I think that looks pretty good and it should help protect the wall from any water that splashes on it. Here I've got the bathroom, the little toilet paper dispenser, got a spot to hang our broom. So this place is really coming along. I still have some work to do. Tomorrow I'm going to take the wheels off and start looking at those bearings and brakes. But uh, I'm really happy with how this, looking, this is looking right now. Here's the view from outside with the lights on. Just take a quick walk around. See if the table is in the up position. So we will have to make sure those curtains are closed, otherwise people will see what we're doing. And you won't see much light on this side because the bed is up and the bathroom curtains are closed. It's getting late, but I'm busy working on a few little items. I didn't film some of them because they're kind of boring. Um, but this one I'm going to, I've got this old 
curtain rod that I found in my basement. One curtain panel um, left over from something. I'm not sure what it's from, but it should be a good size for that uh, that door. So I'm going to put this up, and that's going to be a, a you know a curtain door for us, which will be better because the toilet's uh, a little tight to the wall. So I think a, a hard door would have been a little too uh, cramped in the bathroom. So I'm going to put this up now. Okay, it's getting dark, so it's a little hard to see, but that uh, curtain is up. I got a shot of it in, in the daytime. Okay, now let's have a look at those bearings and brakes. Well, the old girl's got some new tires, thanks to our friends at Coast Tire. So I'm going to scuff up those rims and put a coat of paint on. We'll get them installed and go for a little spin, see how everything works. So I'm just using a scotch pad to take off any loose rust and putting a coat of black paint to spruce the rims up a bit. With the paint dry, let's put the wheels back on. All right, so we're all hooked up off for our maiden voyage. So let's uh, see how it goes. Well, I made it out to my in-laws place and everything's working perfectly. She's way better than I expected. So now it's starting to get dark. The sun's going down. So I'm going to head back home and uh, we're gonna be taking this thing out uh, this weekend to Cushabaquack National Park for our first camping trip, so we'll see how that goes. And we made her back home. So the first trip was a success. Like I said, we're going camping this weekend, but I'm gonna wrap up this video right now. If you wanna know how the camping trip went, you'll have to wait till the next video. But thanks for watching this one. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't already, click subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.